Okay. So we're in my room that has a dormer door in it. Open the door and look down and it's, I think I see light coming. So I went down to look to see what this light was. And in the hotel, you didn't have bathrooms in the rooms. So you had like, they had bathrooms. Everybody used, I mean, there was one, the women were on the ground floor of this wing and the men on the top. And you had a community bathroom. So none of the rooms had bathrooms. So, and, and showers the same way. So I looked down and it's the women's shower. Oh, so heaven. We began, well, we began to check, you know, and the, the guys at our little group knew what this was. So you could tell when the shower was on, they could hear like a little, something would clue you. So we took turns. It was like, you go, my turn, your turn. Okay, well, if the guy didn't come back, we knew it was one of the college girls, okay? <laughs> if he came right back, it was like the big old fat cook. You know? Yes. <laughs> And we did a whole summer of that. <laughs> oh, God, I love it. Oh, that's hysterical. That's a perfect oh, boy God. story. Yeah. Teenagers. We did no harm, right? We just, other than those guys never knew what happened to their table. <laughs> yeah. Another thing we did when we left, we took a huge amount of Tahoe Tavern towels and sheets. So our, our house was all Tahoe Tavern. All of our linens, sheets, pillowcases, towels, washcloths. We took a lot of them. <laughs> and they called because they thought maybe we had. My mom said, no, we don't have it. Oh, your mom? <laughs> when, your you mom. when you moved to Antioch, you moved directly to Noya? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so we're still in Lake Tahoe, so we're not done with these stories. Um, One of our Sundays, we decided to go to Squaw Valley. And one guy had a car, so we drove to Squaw Valley, which is where they had the Olympics in 1960, maybe, Winter Olympics there. And so we hiked up, and there was still snow up at the very top, <clears throat> and the face of Cornus had snow or ice on it, and it's pretty big deal. So we got up on the very top, and Bill goes, we need to slide down this. We need to. We need to do this. <laughs> Go, I don't think so. I mean, it was high. It's probably a thousand feet. Hey. Uh, it's the cornice of, of uh, Squaw Valley. So we're up there and we find there's a snow shovel stuck in the snow. There's still snow up there. Um, we think maybe we could ride that down. Now, think about it. That's probably not a good idea. Down at the bottom of this, we can see it's all gravel. So you could go down on the ice, right. and then you would hit the gravel, and you should be fine. Stop, yeah. So we're talking about it, so Bill says, I'm going. So he was the adventurer. So he goes first, all the way down, it tumbles and rolls to the, you know, the gravel, gets up, he waves, you know, come on down. So I go next. It's not gravel. It's rocks about this big, <laughs> and they're really sharp, and it's like chunks, okay? I hit him, tumble, holy crap. I mean, just beat the beat up. Dents all over me, and, and we had holes in our clothes. Get up and I wave the other guy to come. It comes down. It has the same, it has the same result. We looked, so we went back to, to, the, to the hotel, and they thought we'd been attacked. Oh, it's, fairs! I mean, we had these little diamond impressions, like purple, oh. from these rocks, you know, holes in our shirt, pants. We were beat up pretty bad. That's but we were only like 16, you know, 15. So anyway, yeah. So we, uh, you know, we did that. We survived it. We we're just lucky that we didn't get killed. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then um, the hotel was unique. It was, a, it was a hotel for wealthy people, and they would send their families for the whole summer. And it was all made out of redwood shingles. It was mm. called Tahoe Tavern. It's mm. since burned down, but uh, they had a swimming pool for the guests. Then they had a recreation building. And in the building, on the bottom floor had a bowling alley with seven lanes. Above it was a movie theater. And then off to the side, they had a dance hall for the guests. And then they had a beauty shop and a barber shop and a, uh, a gift shop and a, like a uh, coffee shop. So we very quickly discovered that we could get into where the movie theater was above it and knock a hole in the wall which we did, because one of the guys worked there. So he says, yeah, this is where it would be. So 
we put a hole in it so we could get in this room which is like a storage room and watch the movies we could see them through like the like they had like a lattice panel blocking it so we put a hole in there so we'd watch the movies and when they, whenever that we could you know, we, we're working most of the time but like on Sundays we could it was on we could go watch the movies um, we uh, some reason, the last night we were there, before we were going to go home, Bill, I, and the other two pin setters, who had a car, maybe it was one pin setter, we decided it would be a good idea that we should break into the coffee shop and make whatever we wanted, because they had ice cream, so we made giant ice cream sundaes, they couldn't begin to eat them, you know, but we piles and piles of ice cream and chocolate syrup <laughs> and then this thing had a belfry in it so up in the belfry they had stored crepe paper some recent lots of crepe paper big rolls about like that like that big all different colors of course what are you going to do with that okay. so the building the wreck building was right on the water so we get up on the roof all these all these rolls down into the ocean. To you had to lake. draw attention to your break-in. Well, we weren't going to get caught. You know, <laughs> it was like, who would know, right? Um, so there was probably 30 rolls of crepe paper. Oh, they God. held them on the end somehow, and they rolled them down, and they went in the water. Okay. So l later when it was dark, now, but before we left, it was sun had risen, so we went over to look, and the, all the water was purple and blue and green. <laughs> and, <laughs> and the dye in there. Yeah. So then, to... To really do things is fun. We decided all the people that had cottages up there had neat signs, like wood carved signs, and some of them had ships and you know bears with their name on it. We decided it'd be a good idea if we took all of those. Okay, so we you guys went. had a lot of good ideas. <laughs> yeah. So and it was always we. <laughs> we. So we took all of them for probably a five mile stretch. So oh my was, God. Yeah, the car was completely full. We didn't know what the hell to do with them. So, what are we going to do with these? Okay, why don't we throw them in the lake? Okay, so, God, you've got good I ideas. Know. I don't know whose idea, but that's what we did. Because we couldn't keep them in the car. No. So, and then we drove home. <clears throat> we left. And my mom got a call. Oh, no. And she said, nope, boys don't know anything about that. <laughs> so, oh, your mom was your best cover. She covered us. Yeah, she covered for us. She was she was really good at covering too, and I don't think she knew the truth, but she knew we had the Tahoe Tavern tells. Did yeah. she uh, get you in trouble after she covered for you, or did nope. she just not care? Nope. She just was cool about it. Yeah. She didn't think we did something like that. No. They were good boys yeah. to their. They were good boys to their mother. So why would they be bad boys yeah. anywhere else? No, that was harmless fun anyway, right? They could get those signs out of the water and use them. I guess. <laughs> Just use your head. Yeah. Get him. Yeah. So that's probably all the stuff that went on at Lake Tahoe. Back in Antioch, the less 